happy little lunchboxes. If you grew up in the 70s or 80s, it was a pretty big deal when it was time to get your new school lunchbox. Heck, even for you old farts out there who grew up in the 50s or 60s, lunchboxes were just starting to come into their own in terms of pop culture. In today's video, we are going to take a look at a few of the lunchboxes of my youth and also the history of the tin pail food carrying accessory. We are also going to take a look at some of the more popular lunchboxes from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. What was the first licensed character to ever appear on a lunchbox? What was a young, dumb, and full of gum Pac-Man QC's first school lunchbox? So sit back and enjoy the show, because this is going to be pure nostalgia overload. These are the lunchboxes of my youth. The school lunchbox, as we fondly remember, got its start with tobacco tins in the early 20th century. School kids wanted to emulate their fathers and would repurpose these tobacco containers into a box to carry their food to school, just like dear old dad did when he went to work in the coal mine. According to published reports, and not just Wikipedia, the first commercial lunchbox was released in 1902 and resembled a metal picnic basket. The first commercial lunchbox that featured a licensed decorated character was 1935's Mickey Mouse. This one recently sold at auction for $2,400. It's not the most expensive one though, that one is coming up. It wasn't until the 1950s and the emergence of television that kids lunchboxes really took off. Aladdin Industries had been producing tin lunchboxes since the early 1940s and got the bright idea to license the character of Hopalong Cassidy, which was a popular TV show at the time. After doing this, sales went from 50,000 the year before to 600,000 the following year. Soon thereafter, the floodgates opened and everybody started to hop on the lunchbox bandwagon. Every TV show that was even remotely kid-friendly oftentimes would get their own lunchbox. The most valuable lunchbox of all time is a 1954 Superman which sold recently at auction for $13,000. Take that, Mickey Mouse. I can't talk about the lunchbox without also mentioning the vacuum flask or what we all know it as the thermos. Designed to keep your hot beverages hot or your cold beverages cold, it was perfect for transporting soup or coffee that every little ADD riddle kid needed. The amount of licensed lunchboxes that were made is staggering. I can't go over all of them, but here are some of my favorites. My first lunchbox growing up was the Super Friends. Now personally, I would have loved just a straight up Batman one, but beggars can't be choosers and at least he was in a prominent role on the front. The next one I received was Superman, which was based on the movie with Christopher Reeve, who was still the defining Man of Steel in my eyes. My third and final lunchbox would be The Return of the Jedi in 1983. At that point, I considered myself too old to be using a metal lunchbox and switched to paper bags instead. This is where I got the idea of putting booze in the bag instead of food. In the mid-1980s, metal lunchboxes started to fade away. 
There are conflicting reports as to why, with the first one being that they were used as weapons in schools. Others suggest that the cost of plastic and vinyl dropped considerably, making it much cheaper to use instead of metal. Plastic was everywhere at that time, from cutlery to toys to Pamela Anderson. The last licensed character at the time for a lunchbox was, ironically enough, Rambo. I hope everyone enjoyed this trip down memory lane as much as I did. Seeing these images brought back lots of memories and it gave me the warm fuzzies. There are still metal lunchboxes being made today, but they are nowhere near as popular as plastic and vinyl. I just saw a new one from the 1966 Batman TV show, but I haven't had a chance to pick it up just yet. But then again, Christmas is always just around the corner. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you would like to support me on Patreon, please click the link below. Thank you everybody so much for watching.